Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and here we are, with Alex Jones again fear-mongering everybody about Fukushima to sell you some products. Yeah, just like when it began. Um, I saw this post, uh, thanks to my buddy Nick, and uh, realized that Alex Jones is doing the same thing he did when Fukushima just blew up. Now he's trying to sell you iodine uh, at an inflated price. And uh, some of you may remember, I got a few things here just to show you. Um, well, this is his article, uh, you know, talking about Fukushima, giving you all the statistics. And, um, you know, the bottom line is he wants to sell you this. Uh, well, actually, wrong link, sorry. He wants to sell you this for twenty nine ninety five and make you believe that he's giving it to you for almost half off. And, uh, well, that's, that's not the case. Um, and some people caught Alex Jones. Uh, fear-mongering it. This is uh, the video where he tells you that uh, he's gotten uh, the only supplier and the potassium iodide you only use if you're close to a nuclear reactor. There's too many risks with um, internal, uh, you know, um, issues if you're allergic to it or whatever. So potassium iodide is, is kind of almost the last resort. It's not a preventative medicine. And it can be dangerous for some people. But Alex Jones didn't care. He met, in fact, he fear-mongered the hell out of you. Uh, never took any of it himself. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you can see somebody else caught Alex Jones here uh, that he had o the only re uh, remaining supplies. And that's because his sheep don't look outside of his box. That's why I say he's controlled opposition, because the people he does pull in, and yes, he does give you some truth, and yes, he does have uh, some worth, but you, people don't break that cycle. They only watch what Alex Jones is doing, and he knows that, and he's marketing the fuck out of you. He absolutely is marketing the fuck out of you. Um, and this is his headline back then, last remaining potassium iodine. This is back when Fukushima first blew up. This was false. It was available other places online. And just like this survival shield um, bullshit, uh, is not worth thirty dollars. Now you can see uh, on Amazon some people selling this for eighty, ninety dollars, but I'm going to give you a link to this, which is what you should use, and this is good. Now the process is a couple of drops on this, rub it on your wrists or on your neck, and the reasoning is is because your thyroid works off iodine. It cannot discriminate between good or bad iodine and um, it will take in radioactive iodine if it's in the environment and if your thyroid needs iodine. So if you fill the thyroid with good iodine, then it doesn't ask for any more. It doesn't take in from the environment. And um, this is a nice way to uh, just get iodine in. You rub it on your wrists. Uh, the worst that could happen in this, I haven't known of this to happen, but the worst that could happen is you would have some sort of an allergic reaction on your skin. Rather than taking something internally and having internal allergies, as we know, which could lead to death in some cases, uh, I don't know of anybody, not that I can, uh, you know, advise you medically, but I can tell you that if you're going to purchase some iodine and use that as a way to protect yourself uh, from radioactive fallout, which, yes, is in the rain, um, in the snow, in the food now, we know that, uh, this will help. So anyway, the link to this will be below. You see the price is eighteen ninety five, and what does Kevin get out of it? I think I get 2.5% uh, on any Amazon sales. So... Uh, not fear mongering and you're into this. I do think it's something you should have on hand, especially if you live, uh, you know, within 100 miles of a nuclear reactor. You should have this available. You don't have to follow the link below, though. I'm going to tell you right now that you can go find this at your Walmart, at your local drugstore, wherever you're going. So I'm not here to sell you shit. I I'd rather you wake up to Alex Jones and what he's doing. But if you're one of those people that want to get some, and you want to just click a link and purchase, this link will be below. 
um, keep an eye on this guy. You know, I've been calling him out for a couple of years. And a side note, Alex Jones, because I know one of your trolls will be watching this. Yesterday was a tweet storm for the TT, uh, TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Uh, you talk a lot of big shit, but you didn't let anybody know that there was a tweet storm for that last night. You did not participate in that tweet storm. And with your uh, quarter of a million or more followers, you could have been very effective about waking people up about how we're being sold down the river. But no, you want them to stay in that little circle watching your videos and shopping from InfoWars at twice the price. That's right, Alex Jones. I told you to expect me a long time ago and you should continue to do so. Actually, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? Much love, many thanks, and I'll see you soon.